Around the field and press box of Clark Central High School, you see photos and tributes to players and coaches of a different era of Gladiator baseball. An era of success that has faded since head coach Trey Henson played his and the Gladiators last playoff game in 2002. When I played, we had a varsity of about 18. We had a full JV that was mostly 10th graders and some 9th graders, and we also had a C team, which was a 9th grade team. We also had a middle school team. The varsity team today has 14 players and suffers because of its lack of depth. Surprising considering the thriving Athens Little League that feeds into Clark Central. This poses the question, where did the Athens Little League All-Stars go? I asked Clark Central senior Cole Malawsaw where his fellow All-Stars are today. The guys that were on my team, uh, you know, they went to the private schools and then he has surrounding counties like Oconee and uh, Walton. One of Malawsaw's good friends from Athens Little League plays for North Oconee after his family moved and switched him from private to public school. When Hunter was in the sixth grade, we were looking for just a bigger environment. The school was a lot smaller than it had been. And so we looked at both Clark Middle and Clark Central, which is where we were zoned, or if we moved, we would move so that he would be at Malcolm Bridge in o North Oconee. It's kind of what we were looking at, and ultimately made the decision based on we bought a house closer to where my parents live. For programs like North Oconee, with three full rosters and over 50 players, numbers aren't an issue. But even other schools in Clark County are dealing with numbers problems. At rival Cedar Shoals, first year coach Vince Marola is noticing the same issue. It's been difficult trying to get, you know, trying to get kids out here from time to time. Associate head coach Nick Wegman has his own theory based on his observations. There, I mean, there's so many options of where you can go to school in this town now. Um, I mean, obviously you've got some of the private schools. You've got Athens Academy, Prince Avenue, Athens Christian. Most of Coach Henson's Little League All-Star team attended Clark Central with him. Though Henson graduated just four years before Wegman, something changed between the classes of 2003 and 2007. When I was growing up, we had a very good core of baseball players, and then I think me and maybe one or two of those guys ended up coming to Clark Central. Losing kids to private school is out of Henson's control, but Central may have found the solution with the C team. The team, composed of 7th and 8th graders from Clark Middle and Bernie Harris Lions Middle Schools, works to develop the future of Clark Central Baseball and is coached by former Georgia baseball coach David Perno. I, I felt like there's a need, you know, I just was like, ah, we need, to, we need to keep this rolling. And I do think, you know, if we can keep these kids together and get them here, that they've got a chance to maybe turn this program uh, back around. Since Henson took over as head coach, Central's win total has steadily increased every year, a sign the C team may be working. Really for us it's developing the kids when they get, that's why we're going all the way down to seventh grade, because we want to be able to develop those kids, create relationships with those kids, and keep them here all five to six years. Hopefully these kids will develop into the future of Clark Central Baseball. Brett Homer, Grady Sports.